Okay, so in this example, we're asked to determine the forces in rope CB and rope AB. So here we have a system with rope AB and rope CB, and they're attached to, to this wall here. This will form an, an angle of 30 degrees, and this is 60 degrees. Okay? Now the first thing to, no to notice is our sign convention. Any force going to the right is positive, anything going up is positive, and vice versa. The next step is to draw our free body diagram. So this point is where all the forces are acting on. So here we draw a dot, and there's a force like this, 500 pounds. There is force here, it's the tension in rope AB. in this way due to CB sixty degrees thirty degrees okay so now the next step is to break each force into its X component and its Y component so why don't we start with the force CB BC Here's the X component, and here's the Y component. Of course, the X component is negative because it's going to the left. The Y is positive because it's going up. So its X component is opposite over hypotenuse. So it's CB sine 60. Its Y component is adjacent over hypotenuse so it's CB cosine 60 now as for the force in rope BA here's the X component and here's the Y component and again this time the X is negative because it's going to the left and the Y component is negative because it's going down So its X component is opposite over hypotenuse. So negative AB sine 30. Its Y component is adjacent over hypotenuse. So it's negative AB cosine 30. And so at this point, you will sum all, all the forces in the X component and the Y component and set them equal to zero. So sum the forces in FX equals zero. So first you, first you have this force, which is 500 pounds. So 500. And then you've got your X component for the force CB, which is minus CB sine 60 minus CB sine 60 and you've got the X component for the force in BA so minus AB sine 60 equals 0 and some of the forces in the Y component so <coughs> for four force BC you've got yours CB cosine 60 CB cosine 60 and for for BA you've got your minus minus AB cosine 30 equals 0 so in this case you have two variables and two equations so to solve for AB and BC you would use algebra and if you if you do it correctly CB equals 433 pounds and AB equals 250 pounds. Alright, so thank you for watching.